This is your stream starting song When the stream's gonna be starting soon I've gotta find a way to prop up my phone So I can point at this highly professional sign This is your stream starting song Because this highly professional live stream Is gonna be starting soon boop a doop a doop boo doop doo doop doo doo I didn't plan out this song To be honest, none of this stream is planned but come and join me in faintly chaotic baking land. That rhymed! Dooby doo 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 doo. I've switched back to dooby doos because it's tricky to make it rhyme on time. My second favourite fruit is not lemon, it's lime. But doo 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 doo. Maybe I can prop this up somehow. Dooby doo 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 doo. Dooby doo 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 doo. I drew a little sun, I thought it would be fun. Dooby 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 doo boo, stream starting soon. I've kind of defeated the point of having a starting soon screen because I gotta hold the phone in place to look at it, which means I can't be setting up the other stuff I'd otherwise be setting up while I've got the stream starting soon thing on. Cause I need to ping the Discord and all the other things that we do when we're starting a stream. Maybe I can sort of prop it up on this. Oh, no, not that. Hang on. Right. Eh. Da -da -da -da. Sort of like, like that? No, no, no. Oh, I know, we can go vertical. Because the stream's starting soon. I can prop the paper up with a spoon. Da -da 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 and I can hold it in place with a charging thing. There we go! Cause the stream's starting soon, do 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 Gonna ping the Discord to let them know that the stream's starting soon. Do 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 Hang on, be there in a second. Oh, that's in the wrong channel, but it gives the general idea. Right! Okay. Wait, what? Did the stream disconnect? Did it? Can you not hear me anymore? It seems to still be live. I don't know why people are saying the stream's ended. I don't know. No, you can all still hear me. Oh, well, it's obviously like one or two people who say it's disconnected for them. I mean, I guess try refreshing. I don't know. Anyway, right. I have pinged the Discord. So... I can pick up the thing and turn it round. Where's the button? No, hang on, I can't find the button. I'm really a very slick operator. It's me! Welcome, one and all, on the internet to my kitchen, which is in the vertical stream format, because I thought that would make for a more sort of, I don't know, um, mobile friendly kind of environment where, like, you can be with me in my kitchen and we can, like, cook together because we're on a baking stream! That's right, we're doing a baking stream. We've talked about doing this for like the last two years and I finally decided that the time had come to make a cake. Or rather, more specifically, we're going to be trying our hand at parking. 
That's right, Parkin. Do you know what Parkin is? Almost certainly not, unless you've been watching The Treacle People, which is the TV show I've been plugging relentlessly for the last year, um, in which it features quite often. And it is a treacle-based cake from Yorkshire, sort of syrupy, sticky, gingery treacle. I have never made it before. To be honest, I haven't ever really baked anything before, apart from a couple of experimental lemon drizzles uh, during lockdown. Um, so I don't really know what I'm doing, but I thought that could be part of the fun. So join me on this adventure into baking, uh, baking chaos, baking mystery, the sort of outer worlds, the outer wilds of baking discovery, where we will be creating the most wonderful delicious things. I'm going to prop you up there, and I hope that kind of works. But before we start, let's just give people a chance. Oh, it won't even stand. This is, this is amazing. I'm doing so well. I'm doing so well. There you go. It's great. So you can prop, you can sort of prop there. That's kind of, kind of like that. What have you all been up to? How's life been treating you? Spill the proverbial tea. Don't spill the literal tea, because spilled tea is very sad. Um... Thank you, sister. I'm glad you think I can do it. I don't think I can do it, but I think it'll be fun to try. And I'm glad you like the jumper, Ninja. Thank you very much. So, yes. How's things? Oh, I'm sorry to hear life is rough, Ninja, but tea does help. Tea helps. Tea is the cure of all ills, as they say. Hello, Elizabeth Chen. Good morning, wherever you are. It is late afternoon here in the UK. But today, we are baking. Hello, fresh off the turnip truck. That's so kind of you to say. I'm so glad your three-year-old loves the Dregal people. That's so lovely. That's so nice. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you for showing your three-year-old. I really appreciate that. That is very kind. Um, just to loop those of you in, uh, watching the stream or whatever, what's this thing I'm talking about? The thing that I've been plugging all the time. So yeah, The Treacle People was a uh, animated TV show created by my late father back in the 90s. Um, I, I've been doing a big thing that I started with him before he passed away to relaunch the series on YouTube. We've had all the episodes remastered. I've been uploading them uh, onto the official Treacle People YouTube channel. It is a stop motion animated comedy series. It is brilliant. I love it. It's hilarious. Uh, and I think you'll love it too. If you like my sort of nonsense, you'll enjoy that nonsense as well. The link to it is in the description down below. So do give that a click and subscribe. If you want, I would really appreciate that. We will be taking a break in the middle of the stream today to jump over because there's a new episode of The Treacle People coming out at 5pm UK time. So that's in just under an hour's time. We will be taking a stream break to jump over to that um, before returning to the shenanigans over here. Um, but yeah, so thank you so much to those of you who have subscribed and are supporting it and everything. I massively appreciate it. And if you haven't given it a try, why not? You'd make me a very happy chappy. So today... Parkin. I'm quickly googling the Parkin recipe because I had it open on my phone, but of course the phone is the camera. It's like you can't. You got to think these things through in advance, which I didn't. Um, but yeah, so I've got got my old laptop set up now. A little bit of background about Parkin then. Parkin, which features often in the TV series Treacle People, um, it is according to BBC Good Food. Parkin is a traditional ginger cake from Yorkshire, flavoured with syrupy molasses, oatmeal and warm spices. Bake it for bonfire night or an afternoon tea treat. So that's what we're going to be baking. It should look like... Let's twizzle you around. Nope, that's still my face. It should look like this. Should look little yummy things. A bit like that. Will it actually look like that? Highly, highly unlikely. But we shall see. Let's flip you back. Okay, okay. So, the ingredients what we need for this recipe, which should take 15 minutes to prep. Now, when cooking with Joseph, the thing to bear in mind is faffing time. Now, uh, anything that, if, I, if we allow 15 minutes to prep, we need to multiply that by about five, because it'll take me about five times as long to actually make the thing. 
because I'm useless at planning and putting things together and organization, it's really difficult, can't do it. So we're gonna assume this is probably gonna take at least an hour 15. Good idea, Ninja, preheat the oven. We've already stumbled at our first hurdle because the oven is stone cold. So let's get that heating up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go over and do that. So I'm gonna go to the clicky clicky thing. We'll turn it round to something. What does the recipe say? The recipe says 140 degrees fan, which is Alvea, sort of. It's always hard with perspective. There you go. Oven's heating up. Very good, very good, very good. Yes, we'll be making cubes. Indeed, or possibly rectangles, or more likely to be sort of vague oblongs. Try and prop you so that you don't have the light shining straight into your eyes. Lay all your ingredients out before you start. Great idea, yes! Let's do that. Okay, so the first thing we need, butter. Behold the butter. So what it says, it says heat the oven to 140 degrees C fan. And what we will be doing is following the recipe. So we need butter. We need one large egg. We have eggs. Hello, different. Welcome to the stream. I'm doing well, thank you. I hope you're doing well as well. Behold, ego. What next? We need four tupspa of milk. Milk. We need 200 grams of golden syrup. We need 85 grams of treacle. Fresh from the mines. Other brands of treacle might not be available. I don't know. But this is what they had at Tesco. So there you go. Um, 85 grams of light soft brown sugar. Sugar. Uh, 100 grams of medium oatmeal. Now I googled oatmeal and I haven't got anything that's actually called oatmeal, but according to Google, you can substitute, you can just sort of use like porridge oats. So I've got Scottish oats, which according to Google should function, should, should be the same thing. So we've got these, we're gonna make it with porridge oats in it and see whether that works. It's all an experiment. Life is an experiment but we're the scientists. That almost sounds like a quote. Um, and we need 250 grams of self-raising flour. Self-raising flour, gotta respect it. Didn't need no one to raise it, raises itself. Very good. Oatmeal is the same as porridge according to Forge Norman. Fantastic, that's what Google said. So that's good. And we also need one tupspa of ground Ginger. Oh, ginger. Love a bit of ginger. And that is our ingredients. Behold the assembled ingredientes. Very good, very good, very good. So we'll see how we get on with those. Right, so the first thing it says is to butter a deep 22 centimeter square cake tin and line with baking parchment. Do I have that? That's a good question. We may stumble at the first hurdle. Yes, we got it. We've got greaseproof baking paper, which I'm assuming is the same thing. Uh, it says beat the egg and milk together with a fork. We can do that. Um, then you melt the syrup, treacle, sugar, and butter together in a large pan until the sugar has dissolved. Remove from the heat, mix together the oatmeal, flour, and ginger, and stir into the syrup mixture, followed by the egg and milk. Then you pour the mixture into the tin and bake for 50 minutes to one hour until the cake feels firm and a little crusty on top. Cook in the tin, then wrap in more parchment and foil. So, it'll work. 
Oh, is it not the same as baking parchment? Oh, I, it'll be fine. I'm sure, I'm sure it'll be fine. What's, what's the worst that can happen? Make sure you cut the parchment properly or I'll make the part cannot cook if it's all scrunkly. Don't want scrunkly parchment. Thank you for the tip, Ninja. Very useful. So we're gonna start by buttering a deep 22 centimeter square cake tin. We don't have a square one. I've got a rectangle. Probably fine. Or I've got round. 22 centimeter square. 22 centimeters is what? That's about. Mm. Take measure. Okay. Okay, so the rectangle is 26 centimetres by 16 and a half, which is more or less near enough, isn't it? Oh, but stonk boys, let's invite the curse. This will be more fun if it all goes horribly wrong. It'll be more amusing for you. It won't result in amusement for me. For me, it will result in suffering and destruction, but it'll be more content. So that's good. Um, right, so we need to butter it first and then line it with baking parchment. Now I guess buttering it just means you get your butter and you give it a rub around the tin. Is that what, I think that's probably what you do. So we get the butter. Measure the parchment first. We'll come to that in a second. I'm just gonna put some butter in the tin. Tin, butter. Is that, is that what we want? Probably should have let it soften a bit first. I think it's gotta like create a sticking layer for like the parchment. It's like a, a layer of sort of oiliness so that it'll come away properly, I guess. Yeah, that seems good. Something like that, probably. But of the sides too, I'm on it, I'm on it. Good. That'll do, nailed it. Okay, now, having buttered, the next step is to do the parchment. Or the grease proof paper, as it is. Now we want to. Ninja said something about drawing a line around it. We get the we get the thing. All oh, my ingredients are in the way. Ah! It's all going horribly wrong. It's not. It's fine. Do 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 do. I'm gonna cake a bake. Gonna cake a bake on stream. I'm on YouTube cake and a bake. And hopefully it's amusing for someone. Turn the tin. Turn the tin upside down and measure it on the bottom of tin. Tin. Upside down. Right, let's do this thing. Behold, the tin upside down on the parchment. Now, I think we draw around it. Wait, no, fold the corners in when it's upside down? What does that mean? I mean, I'm sure it's fine, sort of, however it goes. As long as it ends up roughly the right kind of shape. Fold the corners in when it's upside down so it'll fit inside fit the inside proper. What, what corners? What, there aren't any corners yet. Oh, measure it, measure the bottom. Cover the bottom of the tin when it's upside down. So you mean the other way round. I understand. See, these are the tricks they don't teach you at baking school. 
like that. No, <laughs> I don't understand what you're saying to me. <laughs> like that? Is this what we want? Like this? You're saying yes, like this. Okay, we're going to do it like this. We turned it upside down. Okay. And then fold the corners in. Oh, I get what you're saying. Because now if we get, the, if we get like the cornery bits, we sort of stick it in and we like fold around it like that. Do you know I have a PhD? We fold around it and then, oh, crumbs. No one said the folding would be the difficult bit. They said the baking would be the difficult bit. Okay, I'm sure it's fine. We're just gonna scissor off this chunk. Difficult to do with one hand. Right. Ah! Don't know why I did that. Right. Oh, I've turned it around. Didn't mean to do that. My tubs for measuring thing, we'll need that in a bit, probably. Yeah, I can prop it up just like that. I just wanted you to be able to see what I was doing. Anyway, we've got the bacon thing. I'm making parking, making bacon parking, making parking, making bacon parking. Okay. I've got a new idea. We're going to get the baking parchment and we're just going to stick it in there. And then we're going to cut it to shape. And I've decided that's going to be fine. Hold my masterpiece. Whee. Okay. But I'm going to retro engineer it so that it is fine. You know? It's all going to be alright. Because every little thing is going to be alright. And then we get the scissors and we cut off the edge bit. Da -da 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 -da. Don't worry about a thing, about a thing, and every little thing. Indeed, Lilex Productions, let's go. It's quite possibly going to be very gooey, so let's do is very appropriate. Because every little thing is going to be alright. Woke up this morning. Yeah, I actually think this looks great. I know it's literally nothing like the method Ninja tried to explain to me. But um, let me just show you because I'm really proud of this. Ta-da! It's fine! It's going to work great! We just need to cut off the edge bit along the bottom. I think that's going to be amazing. And that, they say, is the hardest bit of baking, don't they? They say, once you've cut the parchment, the rest of it is absolutely fine. You know, you cut the parchment and, um, and then the rest of it's trivial. To be honest, the rest of this exercise, the rest of this process is trivial and has been left to an exercise for the viewer. So thanks for watching, everyone. Okay, right, let's get back to the recipe then. So we cut the parchment. Now we beat the egg and milk together with a fork. Right. Um, yes, all of this is canon. This is a fork. I'm pretty sure this one is the fork. So, yes. Captain Green Coin. Um, there's a follower mod that I think you should really use. Um, it's really cool. Uh, his name, uh, what is he? He's an Imperial. He's something like um, Juician? Um, Blucian? Nusian? 
can't remember. You should use him. Um, Inigo, you need to have Inigo in your model list. Uh, I recommend some of my favourite sort of new lands mods and things. Ooh, the egg's gone a bit weird. It's all right, it's fine. It's not gone bad or anything. It's just got like a, a layer around the inside. There you go, that'll do. There we go, that's fine. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, what else? Uh, sorry, you know, um, I like uh, Worm's Tooth. It's one of my favourite New Lands mods. You should use that. Ha! I defeat you! I defeat you! You are defeated! Oh, beat. I beat. Don't defeat. Now it says milk, and we needed four tubspa of milk. Oh, Forgotten City's awesome, yeah. Um, let's see, hang on, four tubspa. You know! Dos! Oh yeah, obviously Beyond Skyrim Bruma. Trez. Foro. Okay. And then we mix. So let's beat them together. Woohoo! Woohoo! Yeah, Legacy of the Dragonborn, that's gotta go as well. A mixy 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 mix 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 mix. Okay, right, we've done that bit. That is step one completed. Hi, Custard! Hello! Step one completed. Right. Step two. Gently melt the syrup, treacle, sugar, and butter together in a large pan until the sugar has dissolved. A large pan. Uh, what have I got? Uh, this one. I'm gonna prop you up there against me crunchy, me crunchy nut cornflakes over there. Here you go. Right now, in this pan we need 200 grams of butter. There's the measuring scales. There's butter, which is um, it's like it's it's cow. It's, it comes out a cow, but not like this. Science. And then, um, maybe a bowl. Bowls? Grow on bowl trees. There you go. Um, and then we need a knife, because we want 200 grams. And 200 grams, well this said it was. 250 grams, so most of this. I am using a scale. Good shout, time traveling penguin. Frobisher. Using a scale, absolutely. So on a scale of one to 10, this stream is 181 grams, give or take. We need it to be 200, so we'll add a bit more. And lo, the scales fell from their eyes. Why are they putting scales in their eyes? Very silly, not hygienic. Put the scales on the kitchen worktop, that's better. 193 grams, we'll get a bit more. 197, a little bit more. 199, tiny little slither. 201, we need to remove some. What do I do with, what do I? 
Mmm. Butter. Delicious. So. Right. We need that. So we need it on a low heat. And then we need syrup. Two hundred grams of golden syrup. To be honest, Ninja, I've never done it before, but I actually quite enjoyed it. So there you go. Every day is a school day. Probably wouldn't do it again, but. Right, golden syrup. We need 200 grams of this. But, we gotta take the thing off. Otherwise it doesn't do anything. What kind of syrup is it? Golden syrup. I did time traveling penguin. I washed my hands before the start of the stream, but I should have made more of a deal of that. You're right. As an educational thing, you should have told everyone, wash your hands. Anyway, syrup. It is important. Where's the thing? Right, 200 grams of this. Let's try again. Oh, we're gonna be here all day. This is the slowest process. 20 grams, people! Okay, I don't have patience for this. We're taking the lid off. One hundred and ninety-nine, two hundred, two hundred eight, oh, two hundred and fourteen. We've over syruped. We've over syruped. Oh, it's all gone. Oh, it's all gone syrupy. It's all gone syrupy. Uh, let's reduce the syrup. Too many syrups. I mean. Mm. Still not enough. I'm gonna clean spoon out and just lose a bit more. Come on, right, that's 195. There you go, that's near enough. 202. Okay. Spoon for the syrup helps the medicine go down. Right, we put the syrup in the bowl. Oh no. It won't, it's too gloopy. Gloop. Okay, we need the thing. Where's the thing? Here's the thing. The specific thing for removing. Yes, good. Yeah. Staril, you are hitting me with this logic, and frankly, I really appreciate it, because it's great ideas for future streams. <laughs> yes. Okay, kids, measure directly into the mixing bowl in future. Do not put it in a little bowl first and then try and scrape it into the, into the other thing. Okay? Rookie mistake. Only a fool would try and do it this way.
Yes, the removing thing. The spatula -y thing, the silicon spatula. And if you don't have a silicon spatula, then you can use a spatula made of something else. Hello, Epic Boy, welcome to the baking stream. Welcome to the Great British Bake Off, where it's not great or really baking, but it's British. So that'll do. Right, we've now put the syrup, or most of it, in there. We have kind of lost some syrup in the bowl, so I'm gonna top it up with an extra squeeze of syrup from the syrup bottle. There we go, that'll do, probably. Just a bit more. Okay. So much for the precise measurements. Right, what next? What next, I hear you ask? But Joseph, what do we do next? Well, we get our wooden spoon and we give it all a, a mixy mix. Yeah, butter's still melting, so we'll let that melt for a minute longer. What else do we need in there? We need sugar and treacle. So the sugar, we need uh, 85 grams of the stuff. So we're gonna get a clean bowl, not the one that's full of syrup. <coughs> Put that on the old measuring scales. If I turn you around a tiny bit further, you'll be able to, oh, I mean, you've still got that, that light shining in your eyes isn't really ideal, is it? Can't do much about it. Unless I could change the lighting setup. What if I do that? No, that's too dark. Terrible idea. Whose idea was that? Anyway, right, so we need uh, 85 grams of sugar. So we're gonna zero the scales. Hot water, yeah, that would have been a good idea for doing the syrup, but it's fine, it's all good. So we get, you get your sugar and you pour this in. And you give it a bit of a squeege. How much do we need? 85G, which I'm going to assume is 85 grams and not 85 times the gravitational field strength of the planet Earth at this height. Okay, that really needs opening more, doesn't it? <laughs> 85 gold. I wish I had 85 gold. Right, tiny bit too much sugar. Mm. Right, near enough. It's going in the bowl. Good, mixy, mixy, mix. Now the last thing is the treacle, which is gonna have the same problem with the old um, stickiness, but I can't really think of a solution, to be honest. Uh, I need 85 grams of it. I know, I weigh the treacle first, and then I pour it in the bowl until its new weight becomes less than 85, uh, 85 grams less. Can I say, hi Ryan, it would make my day. Hi Ryan, it would make my day. Will Lucen be brought to Fallout? No, probably not, Lucen. I don't play Fallout, so unlikely. Right, treacle. Treacle, 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 treacle. And we've got to access the treacle, which they make difficult for you. Give me that. Need a better knife. How, how access, give to me screwdriver. That's what I need.
Oh, and I need to keep stirring the other ingredients so it doesn't burn. Hi, Cthulin. Welcome to the stream. Can I kindly say hello? Hello, Mary Lou de Silva. Okay, right. Uh, I've lost the treacle. Here's the treacle. Right. There you go, that's starting to lift up now. Ta-da! Look at that. Oh, sticky stuff. Sticky stuff. Right, so we're going to weigh this. Zero the scales. We weigh this and we add treacle until that goes down by 85 grams. So it currently says 535, so we reduce it until it says 550. And then that's enough. So, no, not 550, 450. Maths. Big old spoony spoonful. Four tablespoons, you think? Wow, that's eyeball it. Oh, that's pretty much spot on. A little bit more and then we're away. Just a dabule. Great. And that now says, one, four, five, seven, a little bit more. There we go, done. And then we mix this. Whee! La 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 la, la la la. And I do have to try a little bit of the treacle. Interesting. I didn't, so hang on, so just to be clear about that, because that's an important point to me as a scientist, I did not eyeball the final measurement. I made an initial approximation by eyeballing, and I compared that to what the scales said. So we eyeballed initially and verified with exact scales. And we nailed it. I won't accept the slander. Okay. What now? Melt them together until the sugar has dissolved. Well, we've kind of done that. Remove from the heat. Mix together the oatmeal, flour and ginger and stir into the syrup mixture. Maybe let's give that a minute longer. Down to the mines we go. Trico, 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 trico. We are the trico people. We seek trico high and low. We are the trico people. We'll live and give a roll. When the whistle save the day, trico track led the way. It seems a trico far below. Down to the mines we go. Okay. Uh, sorry, so yes, uh, mix together the oatmeal, flour and ginger and stir into the syrup mixture followed by the egg and the milk. The egg and the milk. Oh, that's over there. Syrup mixture. Uh, I need a mixing bowl. I know I've got one. Ha! Right. So we need oatmeal flour and ginger. One hundred grams of oatmeal, which is this one. Yes. Very good, very good. And I've opened it like a psychopath. It's all right, we'll tape it up after. Will we ever get a sweet world baking stream? Uh, maybe, eventually. Do you know? I haven't got the recipe book. If I had the Skyrim recipe book, that would be a start, but I don't, so. 
100 grams of that one. Oh, let's give the, give the mixture another stir. Looking delicious. Okay, what else do we need? We need 250 grams of self-raising fluid. This one. Which will bring us up to 350 grams total. Perfect. And we need one tablespoon of ground ginger. Where did I put the tablespoon? There we are. Okay, that's taking a million years. Let's take the thing off. No biting, Cicero's animal. One tubspur. We did say tubspur, not tees, not tuspa. Ta-da! Right, we've got the ingredients. So now it says, add uh, this into that. Oh, remove from the heat, remove from the heat. Now, add this into this. Good. And then, stir it in with my spoon. Should have used a bigger uh, thing, but it's okay. So we're gonna stir this in. Oh yeah, immediately put it back on the heat. You're right, you're right. Good shout, good spot, Starrell. Oh, look at this. This looks like the world's best porridge. Look. Oh, yes. Oh, me porridge. Does that not look delicious? I would eat that as is. I'd eat that raw. In fact, you know what? Where's my little... No, there's no egg in it, don't worry. Not yet. Haven't added the egg. We're gonna add the egg now. Can confirm that was delicious. But here goes the egg. No, top tip, don't eat anything with raw egg in, folks. There's the egg and the milk. Oh my goodness, that porridgey mixture was so good. I mean, yes, there is flour in it, so maybe don't eat much of that. Don't try and, yeah, don't eat much raw flour. Not great for you. Oh, is it just as bad? Okay, well, I've killed myself. But that's fine. It's all right. I'll recover. It's only going to be, you know, it's only going to make me violently ill. All right, so we mix this. Gloopy, gloopy, gloop. Yumbles. I'm good. I'm good. So I actually have three stomachs. I keep two as spare for ice cream and um, chocolate. I will neither confirm nor deny that I just said yumbles, Starrell. Okay, mix them all together, which we've done. Pour it into the tin and bake for 50 minutes. Behold the tin, which is short for Timothy. You know? Come along, Timothy. Mm -hmm. 
I'm such a good baker. I'm nailing this. So experienced. I should probably mix it more actually so the egg probably mixes in. <laughs> oh, it's actually looking a good consistency. It's turned into less gloop, more sort of sloop. Yes, Lelex, that is what's inspiring the parking. We're making parking because Treacle People is on in 10 minutes. And then after the stream, maybe the parking will be ready. Well, not after the stream, after the Treacle People. Um, by the way, uh, no, how are we going to do this? I think I might just, um, I don't know what to do with the stream while Treacle People is on. Because I want to divert you people over there. Oh, thank you so much for becoming a channel member, Mara Sims. I don't think there's a way to... Is there a way to mute microphone? Yeah, there's a way to mute audio. Okay, I think I'll point this... I'll write something on a piece of paper and mute the microphone and point it out while Treacle People's on. Telling you where I've gone. But I would love for you to all come and watch Treacle People with me. When that's on. Because I honestly... I'm really trying to grow the channel as best I can. To sort of try and make it into a thing kind of in honor of dad and it would be really lovely to get as many viewers as i can so if you guys wanted to come over and watch it with me that would be amazing and then we can chat about it on the stream afterwards so that would be fun too oh so yeah maybe do that anyway and we're gonna put this in the thing so here's the cake tin tin of and we're gonna get the gloopy gloop. How hot is that? That's still quite hot. And uh, let's just twist all you slightly to the left. Get the gloopy gloop and put it in the tin. I feel like there's more gloop than there is tin. I feel like tinnothy is not large enough. But let's try it. So, gloop. Whoa! Gloop, 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 gloop. This actually looks amazing. This is going to be delicious. Now this is where I need the spatula thing again, actually. So I'm just going to wash this briefly. So we can use it again. So currently covered in syrup. Where's my washing? Oh, there it is. No, none of my implements have had names before this stream, but now they're all getting names. We're baking parkin, Mara. In honor of Lil. Parkin? Perfect parkin, parlor. I make perfect parkin. This will not be perfect parkin. But maybe it'll beat Lil's. The spatula. The spatula's name is, um... Count Splatdrilla. Yeah, Count Splatdrilla of, um, uh, where did they come from? Vampires. My brain just says Tennessee. I know it's not Tennessee. Uh, no, it's not Pennsylvania either. It's, it's Transylvania. That's it. Transylvania, not Tennessee or Pennsylvania. Maybe that's law. Maybe it's canon now that vampires are actually from Tennessee. <laughs> Sees a coffin. It's free real estate. Right. Anyway. Did it. That's most of it. Right. 
Right, behold. Gloopy gloop. Gloopy gloop gonna go in hot cupboard. Uh, yeah. Put these kind of over there. We open the hot cupboard. We get the gloopy gloop. We put in hot cupboard. Box of warm, spicy air box. And we set a timer Rooney for 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Uh, how do I do that? Because it says 50 minutes to one hour. So we'll check on it after 50 minutes. See how it's getting on. Fabuloso! Let him cook. <laughs> it's never been truer. Okay, the parking is in Toven. So now it's time to switch over to the treacle people. Which is, is going to be great. So the link, uh, general link to the Treacle People channel is in the description below, and I can pop a specific link to the episode we're going to be watching um, in the chat. Let's just grab that, if I can. Hang on, it's not doing it. Making parking, making bacon parking, making parking, making bacon parking. Isn't that how all ovens open? Right, here we are. Oh no, that's the wrong stream. That's not the right, oh no. No, 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 no. That's not the right chat. This is the one we want. And then I can go. There's the link. Please click on that. Jump over to the Treacle People stream. Um, I would really appreciate it if you could move any chat kind of over there to that so we keep it all in one place and everything. Um, please do tune in, because it's fab, honestly. I, I really do think you'll find it funny. So um, jump over and, and see Parkin on TV. Um, and then we'll be back here afterwards. So maybe like a five minute break after the end of the stream, I'll, I'll be back here. So, so jump over, jump over to that link, and then come back here afterwards for more nonsense. Uh, I don't know what we'll do in the second half of the stream, and while the Parkin's cooking, we'll think of something. Think of ideas of what you'd like to do with the other half of the stream. Maybe we could play some guitar or something. I haven't practiced it. I haven't played guitar in ages, so it'll be pretty rubbish. Um, or we could, I don't know, uh, maybe a game or something. Not sure. But um, but yeah, come back after that. Anyway, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pause this now. So you, you go over to that. Okay? Go over to the treacle people. I'm going to... If I go front camera... No, other camera. And then we go...
Are you being rude about my whiteboard? I'll have you know that's highly professional signage. Are you being rude about my whiteboard? Oh, hang on. We're back in just one second. Let's give people a chance to get back from the stream. Look, mobile, when you're streaming off a mobile phone, it doesn't let you have like pre-prepared screens. You know, I can't set up ordinary like transition screens like I do on PC because the app doesn't let you do that. So I've improvised and it's very high quality and I'm very proud of it. And it took me a good minute to actually get it balancing upright as you'll see if you rewatch the stream. Um, so, I'm very proud. So I have none of this negativity, I thank you very much. Right. I think that's long enough. Let's twizzle it round. Hello! Welcome back, one and all! Thank you so much, those of you who came across to watch the Treacle People with me. I massively appreciated having you all there. It was made me really happy. So, thank you. And also, that really helped support the channel and helps grow it into, um, into what we're trying to make it into. Um, if you are watching this on demand, on catch up, um, from the future, please do take the opportunity now to jump over and watch that episode that I will, I'll post a link in the comments underneath so that you can go to exactly the right episode. It's episode, f uh, season two, episode four, Loose Change. Please do jump across and watch that now to support me and we'll be discussing, well, you know, I'll be talking about it freely with spoilers and everything. Uh, like from now forward. So this is kind of your last opportunity to go and catch up. But um, okay, right. Yes, so what did you think of that? Hope you enjoyed. It was nonsense as ever. Um, classic nonsense from Jonathan Truman and Brian Truman, the um, father and son duo who write the show. Uh, I love that one though. The, the thing about the bleat meow stays with me, but I also find it kind of anxiety inducing. Like, I don't know, There's, it's like, as, as you often kind of have with a lot of sort of shows that you watched as a kid, when you see them all with their personalities changed and Rose is getting more and more stressed and everything, it really gives me this growing sense of like, oh, everything about to normal, kind of, uh, and I guess it, it sort of triggers a part of my brain from when I was a kid watching it that, um, that freaks me out, but, but yeah. Anyway, hope you liked it. Hi, Butane, welcome to the stream. You have missed the first hour 15 of this nonsense. Um, go watch The Treacle People. We just watched an episode of The Treacle People uh, that just came out. I'd massively appreciate it if you could watch it as well. Please. Thank you. Um, but yes, so we have been baking Parkin so far on this stream of nonsense. The Parkin is in the oven. It is cooking, I assume. It's starting to smell quite good. Getting a little bit of that treacly smell coming through, which is nice. Oh, I'm so glad you like that, Time Travelling Penguin. That's very kind of you. Um, Ninja says, pros of YouTube over Twitch when it just comes to the ease of using it. Um, YouTube themselves make things ever so slightly simpler, in my opinion. But both of them I stream to through Streamlabs um, OBS. So it's much of a muchness which one you connect to from there. Um, the benefits, I think Twitch have a better... Uh, have a better sort of interface and everything for viewers. I think when you're watching as a viewer, I think you have better, um, I don't know, there's better interaction, better sort of fun things you can do in the chat, hype trains and everything, all of that is all cool, uh, which YouTube don't have quite so well. But uh, the big benefit for YouTube is everyone's in one place. You know, all your viewers for your regular YouTube channel you know, watching regular YouTube videos are also able to watch your streams without having to go over to a different website and it's all collected together on your channel, but now organized into the live tab and the normal videos tab, which is nicely laid out. And YouTube have a bit better discoverability than Twitch, I think. Um, simulcasting is not allowed now, to my knowledge, Ninja. No. Um, what they've allowed is you can simulcast to, video to mobile first services. So you can simulcast to Twitch at the same time as simulcasting to something like TikTok or Instagram, but you're not allowed to stream on both YouTube and Twitch at the same time, if you're monetizing, if you're a Twitch um, affiliate or partner or anything like that. If you're not, then sure, you can simulcast wherever. But, um, but yeah, that's the rule. So, so yes, exactly, Captain Green Gun. Everyone has YouTube or has access to YouTube, but not everyone has Twitch. Twitch is still quite niche with your sort of mainstream viewers. So I find it's just easy. I, th I think we haven't gone back to Twitch in a while and I think it's more accessible kind of here on YouTube, really. So I'm happy to continue 
doing that. Well, unless, unless the rules have changed, by the way, me saying that about simulcasting, that's potentially out of date information. That's what the situation was when they changed it a few months ago, when they an announced you're allowed to now simulcast to like TikTok and Instagram. But they may well have updated it since. And if that's the case, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not up to speed with that. In which case I should be simulcasting. But, um, but I don't think you're allowed to at the moment. Anyway, so the parking is in the oven, but we have destruction that needs tidying up. Look, it's all chaos. So we've got to do a bit of washing up. Ninja, you're very interesting. Any stream from you is interesting, right? Because that's, that's fundamentally what these sorts of things are. Like, my channel, and I think also by extension your kind of streaming thing, isn't really based around a specific, like, um, isn't based around a specific kind of content necessarily. It's more personality based, right? People tune in to hang out, is the idea. Um, so I, you know, don't worry about being interesting. People will tune in and hang out just to hang out with you. So do whatever you want. Anyway, time to wash up. We never wash up, never wash up, never clean up, never clean up, never wash up, never wash up, no. The boy goes left in the fire, clean up, clean up. That is correct, Reese. Uh, well, it's not correct. It might be the first stream that you've seen that's not in my office. We have had some streams not in my office before. Um, when I hadn't set it up yet. So when I just moved into this place and we didn't have internet upstairs, um, or we hadn't, hadn't set up the office, uh, we did a stream from down here in, um, uh, in, um, yeah, in my living room. And also in other, other places I've lived, we've also done the occasional, the occasional stream in, um, other rooms. But generally speaking, yeah, it's been usually from my office. So I help you build up in the beginning when we we're both on Twitch. I mean, stream on whatever you want, Ninja. If you prefer Twitch, stream on Twitch. If you prefer YouTube, stream on YouTube. It doesn't really, it's, it's not going to make a lot of difference. You know, you'll probably, I get similar numbers. If I, I get slightly higher numbers of viewers on YouTube than Twitch because of the whole it being slightly more accessible for people, I think. But I, it's really not going to make or break the success of your streams as to which one of those platforms you're on, in my opinion. So I wouldn't worry. Hey, Talion the Alien. Welcome, thank you so much for, uh, for tuning in and for saying hi, it's lovely to have you on the chat. Um, I know it is nerve-wracking joining in a chat for the first time, but it's really cool that you sent a message. So that's lovely, lovely to meet you, virtual handshake, there you go, and uh, welcome to the stream. And thank you so much for being kind about Lucian and the Treacle people and everything. Am I happy deep inside? Wow, what a question! I don't know. It's not really been the best year for being happy deep inside. I mean, a lot of you know I lost my dad um, back in March last year. And, uh, you know, that's been a long old road since. And it's the kind of thing that isn't, isn't something that necessarily gets better. It's more about kind of like finding a new normal. Um, so, you know, grief is still very much a thing. However, you know, there's lots of good stuff happening in my life at the moment. I did finish the, um, you know, my PhD. I still haven't yet got the final sign off on it, but it's looking like I'm there, fingers crossed. So that's all positive. And I love doing all this kind of thing, you know, chatting with you guys online, doing my creative stuff, though I increasingly don't have nearly as much time as I'd like to do that kind of thing these days. So, I mean, bearing in mind the trials and tribulations of life, on the whole, I probably am happy, deep inside, I think. But, you know, one has good days and bad days. And I think it's unrealistic to expect anyone to always be like, you know, it's a very difficult thing to sort of unilaterally say, yes, I'm happy deep inside, you know, because people are complicated. And there's always, there's always many, it's possible, I think, to be both happy and not happy at the same time. You know, one's full of contradictions. So there you go, a bit of a ramble in answer to a deep question. But yeah, thanks Forge. 
I'm doing my best, really. He was very proud of the Treefield people, and I think rightly so. You know, it was nominated for a BAFTA, but I think even beyond that particular recognition, just it is, I think, objectively, a wonderful, wonderful thing to exist. It's very funny, it's very gentle and wholesome and lovely. It never, you know, never punches down at anyone. And it's something that makes other people happy and has made other people happy, so, you know, I think it's, I think it's nice. I think it would be a great shame if it were not possible to watch it. So preserving it and making it accessible online to everyone for free is a lovely thing for me, you know. Makes me happy. And it was our last project, you know, before he passed away. It was something we were working on together, so we started it together and I'm certainly going to carry on with it. There were only two seasons of The Treacle People made, Reese. Um, there were plans for a third, but it never happened. Um, mainly for sort of uh, political, administrative kind of reasons within like ITV and Granada and you know the the uh, LWT, the kind of whole system and everything. You know, it didn't it didn't continue beyond the end of the second series. But I would love to continue the story in some form. Um, I can't, you know, I haven't got any kind of concrete plans or anything. But um, I would love to be able to do something with it. I don't know what format. It's highly unlikely we'd ever get the budget to actually make a third series of it. Uh, because, the, you know, animation just requires the most enormous budget. You know, it's, um, it's really uh, expensive to do that kind of thing. Um, and I wouldn't dream, I wouldn't want to try and do a cheaper sort of 3D animation or anything like that. But that would be expensive in itself. Because I think part of the show's fundamental identity is the stop motion, the beautiful stop motion animation. So um, I, I think if it were ever continued as an animation, it would have to be stop motion. But that would require a massive budget. So the point is, I don't think that's achievable. But I think something like in prose form or as an audio or, I don't know... Um, as a, I don't know, like a podcast or um, a comic, although that's quite high budget as well. I don't know, but I'd love to. I'd love for there to be more Treacle People story in some form at some point. So, yeah, yeah, like Treacle People novels or short stories or something. I think that would be fantastic. I don't know, you know, how well it would translate to long form prose. Might be worth a go at some point. But yeah, who, okay, uh, sorry, Ninja, I missed the message from Ninja. You really went the triple and reminded me how much of it had an impact on my childhood when I was super tiny because of the tape recordings we had of it and then 20 years of being unaware. Yeah, well, I'm glad to have sort of brought that, uh, brought that back for you. It's nice. Um, who voiced the characters? Okay, so let me see what I can remember off the top of my head. Caroline Bernstein, absolutely lovely lady. She's a delight. She has a YouTube channel, by the way, uh, and an Instagram. You should check her out. If you look up Caroline Bernstein, um, yeah, she's on both YouTube and Instagram. She does hilarious impressions, uh, works as an actor, a voice actor, impressionist. She was in the, um, the Harry Potter uh, Chamber of Secrets video game, the sort of old retro one. Um, she voiced Molly Weasley in that. Um, but yeah, uh, many, many years ago. But yeah, so she's been in lots of other stuff. You should look her up. So she voiced Lil and Rosie and Bert the Boggart and all the Boggarts and the Queen. So five roles. Uh, the Queen, who in, in the, um, uh, the at the end of the Christmas special, there's a little cameo kind of thing. So she she voices that um, lovely lady. Uh, we've got Glyn Mills. Glyn Mills voices Tapper and Ike, and the narrator. Um, he's also a very talented singer. Does a lot of Frank Sinatra kind of stuff. Very cool guy. Again, lovely chap. Um, then we have, as Brendan and Silas, is Jim Norton, um, who you, he's been in quite a lot of uh, very highly reviewed and won awards for stage stuff. Um, he made an appearance uh, as Bishop Brennan and Father Ted, which is quite a big role that he's quite well known for. Um, then we've got uh, Alec Bragonzi was the prof. He sadly passed away in 2006. Um, but he was the prof and Nelly New Church, and that voice of the prof has always stuck with me. You know that Alec created, and it comes through as uh, I think a lot of Lucian shares kind of a lot of his vocalisms with the prof. I think they've got a, you know, I think that obviously really resonated with me. That whole specific gravity, resonance within specified limits. 
Oh dear. You know, all that kind of thing, I think, Lucy from seeing that. Um, there's Jim McManus, who passed away last year, very sadly, voiced um, uh, Whizzle and PC Pendle. And PC Pendle, um, oh, his voice was inspired by, I've forgotten the name, uh, Tony Hancock. I don't know if you know Tony Hancock, but the voice of PC Pendle, um, Jim McManus, had actually come off the, just finished doing a stage show where he played Tony Hancock. And in, when they were working out the voice for PC Pendle, he said, oh, can I just try something? And he did his Tony Hancock impression kind of thing. And uh, they all loved it. So it ended up, that was perfect for the character. Uh, so yeah. And then um, Brian Truman plays, uh, who's the writer of the show, and also wrote things like Danger Mouse um, and Count Duckula. He uh, plays Charlie. For those little one-liner kind of, ooh, 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 I, ooh, but, ooh, you know, oh, all that. That's Brian Truman, which is fab. Then in the Christmas special, we've got Willie Rushton. Oh, and the Brian Truman also plays a new character who will be introduced next episode as well. Uh, and another new character who'll be played by Alec Bragonzi. Barrow and Finesse, they turn up in episode five. So watch out for them. They're great. Uh, and yeah, so Willie Rushton play, plays Father Christmas in the Christmas special. And finally, my dad, uh, who plays Sterling the Haggis. Because he learned the bagpipes to play the haggis. Wandered up and down the corridors of LWT, playing the bag bagpipes, driving everyone mad. He borrowed the bagpipes from a friend of my grandma's, um, who was Scottish. And uh, yeah, he does all the voice for Sterling, the haggis, who's wearing like sentient bagpipes with legs, runs around. Does a little of... blah, 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 blah. And that's all bad. And that's the voice cast. Those are the characters in Drinkable. Don't think I missed anyone out. Wonderful group of people. Very fond memories they all have of working on the show. No, so I was actually uh, zero when they were working on... I was born while they were working on the, f the second series of The Truth of People. In 97, I think. Maybe I was born just after. But point is, I certainly wasn't sentient uh, or aware of anything uh, for the making of The Truth of People. So no, he didn't wake me up with the bad pipes. But yeah, Danger Mouse is a fantastic show. Love Danger Mouse. It's been revived in the last few years. Not classic Truman nonsense. Brilliant. I always remember the scene where they like fall into a trap door, Danger Mouse and Penfold, his sidekick. And then they fall through a trap door and they're in a pitch dark kind of basement. And Penfold's like, ooh, Danger Mouse, I do wish you'd stop wearing those furry gloves. And Danger Mouse is like, I'm not wearing any furry gloves. And then the lights turn on, and they're both holding hands with a bear that's down there for no explanation. And then there's a chase scene, and they escape from the bear. But it's like, not explained, no context, just, there's a bear. And I love it. It's that kind of nonsense that I think is just fabulous. So, so yeah. Anyway. I have never had a fidget toy. I don't really know what they are, Cicero, to be honest. So I can't comment. Average Skyrim dungeon experience. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So I love that. Danger Mouse, great show. Do go check it out. I'm not anything to do with it. It doesn't support me or anything in any way, but, it's, um, but it is a very, very funny show by the same writers as Treacle. So. Hello, Khaleesi S. What would Lucian do if he met the Doctor from Doctor Who? Lucian would be the world's biggest fanboy of the Doctor from Doctor Who. He would be so obsessed with wanting to be a companion. He would do anything to get in the TARDIS. But, um... But I think the Doctor might find him annoying. <laughs> so... But yeah, he'd be on cloud nine. He'd love it. Hey 
Hey, so it's great to have you on the stream, um, Khaleesi. We try and keep things really wholesome here, try and have a really nice sort of family-friendly vibe, um, and it makes it all really positive and cool, so we don't really go in for that kind of joke. Um, so I'd just be really grateful if you could try and keep it all, you know, nice and friendly and lovely, you know. But, but yeah, so hope you understand that. You hum that tune while doing the dishes as well. What was I humming? Was it Indiana Jones? Probably was. Sorry, I was drying up just to clear the thing. We've got more to wash up still. I hope this is okay, just chatting while I wash up. I know it's not the most exciting content, but we can chat about all sorts, so... And then soon the bargain will be ready. It's got 10 minutes 40 left on the clock, actually. So then we can taste it. Hi, sneaker dude. Welcome to the stream. You love the stream format? Fantastic. Good, well, I'm glad. So long as it works. I'm here to entertain. Are you not entertained? What kind of question is that, Dombro? Of course I support LGBT. You really think I wouldn't? <laughs> Did I ever watch Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid? I came across it. I came across uh, Thomas the Tank Engine. I was not an avid watcher, but I was certainly familiar with it. And I had a wooden, I had a little wooden train set kind of thing with a little uh, white, uh, sort of Thomas, you know, that you roll back and it goes zoom. You know, so I had a little Thomas which I played with when I was very small. I also had a travel Thomas set. I remember having that on holiday when I was like four or five. I think we went to Centre Parks and I had this, this travel Thomas set and I remember sitting in bed playing with that. It was lovely. What's my favourite sl show slash movie currently? Well, my favourite show is and always will be Doctor Who. Because that's always got the most special place in my heart, you know. Love Doctor Who. Massive Whovian. Always have been, always will be. So, um, yeah, Dombro's Dombro gone now. Don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, so Doctor Who is the winner on that. Movie-wise, I need to re-watch it because I've only ever seen it once, but one of my favourite films I ever watched was The Martian. Um, you know, the Matt Damon movie thing? Absolutely loved it. Amazing movie. I'd love to watch it again because I watched it years ago, but that was probably the best movie-watching experience I've had. So that would probably be the one that was my favourite. Um... That said, as I said, I've never rewatched it, so I don't know how I'd feel watching it again, whether that would still be true. But I actually just read, because um, Gary recommended it to me, um, author of Inigo. Uh, what did he recommend? It was uh, it's the book by the same guy who wrote The Martian. Oh, it's so good. What was it called? Operation Hail Mary? Project, Project Hail Mary? Such a good book. Absolutely fantastic sci-fi book. Thoroughly recommend Project Hail Mary, um, if any of you are into sci-fi. Brilliant book, loved it. Read it all in like a couple of days. Anyway, yes, Doctor Who. 
Um, yeah, so looking forward to more stuff with Shooty Gatwa. I think he's phenomenal. Blew me away in his first couple of episodes. My favorite companion. Ooh. My favorite companion, I'm gonna go classic here, is Jamie McCrimmon from the classic series, played by Fraser Hines. Companion of Patrick Troughton's second Doctor. Oh, Doctor, look at the size of that one. Yes, it is a very big one, Jamie. Jimmy, Zoe, when I say run, run like a rabbit. Love, I just loved their, their relationship, I think it was wonderful. I'm washing up, Jamie, love, because we've just been baking. So, uh, Jamie McCrimmon was my favourite companion. But if you mean from the modern series, um, Bill, Bill Potts, she was fantastic. Bill Potts, played by Paul Mackey in series 10. Favourite. Hey, Christina. You're not too late. You're here in time to watch me take the cake out of the oven. The parking. Which I'm very excited to do. See if it's turned out any good. I'm gonna wash this as well. Hyperion! Do you recommend Hyperion then? I've seen that, thought it might be a good one to try. My favourite Pokemon is Totodile, because Totodile was my first starter. And I love him. He is very cute. He is the best Pokemon. Don't it die! And I don't know what Lucian's favourite Pokemon would be. Maybe also a Totodile because of the whole, you know, a lot of my favourites and, you know, a lot of similarities between us. Somebody did fan art of Lucian's Pokemon team. It's on my Twitter. If you go back through my Twitter, you'll find some really cool fan art. I can't remember who sent it in. Was it you, Ninja? Or somebody, somebody did some awesome fan art of Lucian with his Pokemon team. Um, and it's on my Twitter, if you go back through. It was so cute. Loved it to bits. Oh, you're writing a book, Reese. What are you writing? Have I played any newish games re lately? Not new ones recently. Um, no. I haven't had much time to play video games lately. It's all been quite full on. Probably the most recent new game I played was Sonic Superstars when it came out. Which I enjoyed a lot. Great Sonic game. Three minutes left on the timer. It's great. Fizzy Moon, have you played it? Because if so, what did you think of the Fang boss fight? Because I have never been crosser. I have never been crosser with a video game boss. The number of times he one-shotted me. Oh, I was fuming. A solid hour to beat the very last boss. Oh, you mean the dragon thing? For me, the dragon thing I beat much faster. It was the, it was that blooming fang mech that just drove me insane. Hector would like me to say Tuesday. I can also say Tuesday, 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 Tuesday. Oh, Fizzy Moon, have you not played the true ending? Oh, sorry, spoilers, Fizzy Moon. Go back, and you've got to complete, you'll find when you complete the first time round, there's a new game plus option, where you play as um, Trip, and when you complete that, you unlock the true final boss. Am I 
British. Uh, no, I'm actually an American man. I'm from New York. Hey, I'm walking here. Yep, yes, sorry. That's where I am from. Yeah, that's me. No, I'm British. That's me. I'm from Britland. For my for my sins. Oh, is Boston, is, is that a Boston thing? I stand corrected. I don't know. Everyone knows America is like one small place. You know, it's just, just like a small country and it's all just, you know, there's only one American accent, right? I'm kidding. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Just like there's only one English accent. Exactly. There's only one English accent, Governor, from the Dick Van Dyke School of English Accents. Top of the morning to you, Governor. Please, sir, can I have some more? We're all either Cockneys or Bond villains, and there's no in between. D&D stuff from ages ago. I can't remember, Nindra. I haven't played D&D in a long time. I did play D&D at a friend's a while ago. Maybe that's what it was. Did I say I had to go to D&D after a stream, maybe? That's the timer for the parking. Parking time. <laughs> right. Behold. Now I need your judgment. Because I don't know how to tell if this is done or not. Let me turn you around so you can see. Behold. Parking. Parking. Welcome to Sabton, where treacle flows like ginger beer, ginger beer flows like water, and parkin flows like steel reinforced concrete. It does look the right colour. It looks like it could be parkin. Yeah, stick a thing in it, isn't it? You stick the thing in and it, it you uh and then if it's like if it comes out clean then it's cooked. Oh that's that's sponge cake. I don't know whether that's the case for parkin. It says until the cake feels firm and a little crusty on top. I wouldn't describe that as crusty. Maybe a tiny bit. Maybe it needs another five minutes, but I will just stick a knife in just to see. Well, it does come out clean. No, maybe it's good. Maybe we leave it at that. Because it's coming out completely clean, so... Try one more stab. No! I think we leave that as is. Nailed it! I am amazing. What can I say? Baker extraordinaire. Pour the mixture in here. I mean, cool, cool in the tin. Okay, so we leave it to cool in the tin. And then wrap in more parchment and foil. So maybe I shouldn't cut it open yet. Maybe I should let it cool first before we try eating it. Let's give it a bit to cool. And then we will do a taste test because we have to do a little taste test before ending the stream. You need to know how it tastes. I'm really pleased with that though. Hopefully it's nice. I'll turn the oven off. Oh, that's not it. Can I send you some, please? <laughs> I would, Ninja. 
If you live nearby, you could have some. Maybe I'll, if it is good, maybe I'll give some to my neighbors to sort of win points with them. I don't, I don't ship at all. <laughs> we don't ship the parking. Yeah, no, it does say you should put it in a tin for a few days and it'll taste better then, so we'll do that. But I would like a little taste test. As your baking assistants, you think you all deserve a piece. <laughs> that would cost me a fortune. But I'll tell you what, if there's ever a con, like a mod conference or something like a, like a comic con for modders or something, and I attend, if that ever happens, and you guys come to visit me and to like meet me in a booth and like I'll sign something, I don't know what, I will bring Parkin and you can have it. Like if that ever happens, remind me of the stream and I will make some and bring it along and give it out to people who can confirm that they were in attendance at this stream. Does that sound fair? Let's get the lid back on the tree, cool. Lucian anniversary party when? What are we? It's like, it was 2018, I think, came out. I know that actually because I made an IMD page for Lucian the other day. I made a little IMDB page because other mods have them and I thought, why not? So, so yeah, um, you can check that out. If you wanna, if you wanna review Lucian on IMDB, you can look him up. Give me some stars. Do the same for Treacle, actually. If you do have an IMDB account and you're reviewing, please do review Treacle <laughs> highly. It really helps. Anyway, yes, I had to put the release date in for that. Right, the treacle is so sticky. That's why they call it the sticky stuff. Try to wipe the stickiness off it so it doesn't stick up my cupboard. I think molasses are basically the same as treacle, so it should be fine. I did appreciate your your well-worded advice, Ninja. I'm sorry I disregarded it. Right. Oh. I think that's... This lid is not sticking back down. Oh no, that does seem stuck well enough. That'll do. I don't actually have space in the cupboard for it. Where should I... I don't to keep my truth for. Maybe... But, mm -hmm. Actually, maybe the baking shelf seems sensible. Let's stick it there. Okay. Did I add more treacle? I added uh, the correct amount of treacle. Ah, good. Our viral marketing is getting to you, Reese. Treacle, 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 treacle. We are the treacle people. We see treacle high and low. We are the treacle people. We all live in Giggle Row. When it whistles, save the day, treacle track all at the way, it seems a treacle far below. Down to the mines we go. Am I going to have golden syrup on pancakes at some point? Yes! Since I've got the golden syrup now, we'll do pancakes. Not now, but like, yeah, totally. <laughs> if you want another song stuck in your head, go on the Treacle People YouTube page and look up the ballad of Brendan Robinson. Because that is, it should be illegal how catchy that is. 
Oh, my name is Brendan Robinson. I bottle ginger beer. And for those of you who wonder quite how did I end up here? Well, it happened many years ago at a wedding in the fray. I fell asleep on a lock, my friends had drifted out to sea. Yes, I fell asleep on a lock, my friends had drifted out to sea. Hey, 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 diddly, hey, hey. Hey, diddly, hey, diddly, hey, hey, hey. Oh, once back on Terra Firma, I was met by quite a crowd. Tapper, I can whistle, oh, they really get me proud. They said, if you're in need of work, we just the job for you. Come back to us to the treacle mines, we'll see what we can do. Yeah, come back with us to the treacle mines, we'll see what we can do. Oh, hey, 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 diddly, hey, hey. Diddly, hey, like, Right, there you go. That's more or less clean. What would I like to bake next? Oh, I don't know. I would like to do another another um, uh, lemon drizzle at some point, because I do really like lemon drizzle. We're not going to do any more today, I don't think. I think that's enough baking for today. But um, maybe... Maybe... I'd like to just make a bog-standard chocolate cake, you know, at some point. I, mean, I don't think I've ever actually made one. Um, yes, sweet rolls. I'd love to do, like, the Elder Scrolls cookbook. But I do think this is like one of the maybe third or fourth cakes I've ever baked in my life. So, hopefully it tastes good. But yeah, hey, we could try sweet rolls. Oh, I love strudel. Yeah, I could bake a strudel. That would be fun. Right, I know we're supposed to wait for it to cool and then leave it for a few days, but I would really like to try some of this. So I'm just gonna cut myself off a little, a little slicey slice just to test for the sake of the stream. Just to sample it. It's quite hard to do one-handed. Am I gonna get it out? I don't know, like a fork? Ooh, marble cake. That would be nice. Good suggestions. Oh, do you know, I love a coffee and walnut cake. My grandma, who we used to call Grandy on my mum's side, she always had coffee and walnut cake at her house when we went to visit. And it was so good. And I would love to make some coffee and walnut cake. So maybe that might be one of the next ones I learn. Because I love walnuts. Right, let's try this. Hang on, I'll turn you around. Right, Parkin experimental test 001. Hmm. That's not bad. It's a bit dry, I'd say. Could do with being a bit more moist. But. It's definitely edible. Mmm. No, that's nice. It's possibly not good enough to actually bring Rama to my neighbours, like I was thinking I might do. Because it's a bit dry. But. It's not unpleasant. It's got a nice flavour to it. There's the treacle coming through. There's the ginger coming through. It's a good bake. It's a goodie. I'll certainly enjoy that. Putting it in a tin is supposed to help moisture through physics. Why? I'm not sure how that works. Well, I will do what they say, which is to wrap it up in tin foil and leave it for five days. And that should help it get sticky. So we'll try that. See what um what it looks like or what it tastes like in a few days' time. But at the moment, yeah, I'd say that's quite serviceable. Mm. No, I'm enjoying it. So there you go. That is parking. I mean, yeah, maybe it's meant to be a bit dry. I've never made it. It says up to five days, yeah. It says pour the mixture into the tin, bake for dun, 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 cool in the tin, wrap in more parchment foil. Keep for up to five days before eating if you can. It'll become softer and stickier the longer you leave it, up to two weeks. So actually, yeah, 
If it becomes softer and stickier, maybe that will make it yummier. So we'll give it some more time. But yeah, happy with that. Slab of parking. Well, I think we'll probably wrap up the stream there. Um, but thank you all so much for watching. This has been really good fun. Thank you for joining me on my chaotic baking experiment, which I think we can say was a success. Um, I don't know when I'll next be back, but I am planning to sort of do more streams going forward, try and scale these up a little bit. So, but I haven't got a schedule yet. But we are doing Treacle People every Saturday at 5 p.m. UK time. So um, if you didn't jump across earlier when, when we were watching it, please do now. It would make mean the world to me. If you, um, you'll see the links in the description down below, give it a watch. It's very silly and it supports me and my family. So I'd massively appreciate that. Give it a watch and a subscribe. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being marvellous. Stay marvellous. And I'll see you all again soon at some point. We'll meet again, don't know where, don't know when. But yeah, okay, see you soon. Bye, everyone. Bye. Wait, it's not gone. Yes, I'm sure I want to end. Yeah, okay, bye.